Adam and Eve's family grew. They had children and grandchildren, and their families grew until many people were in the world. But all those people were like Adam and Eve. They sinned against God. God is good and loving. He wanted people to have a right relationship with Him. But the people did not want to live under God's rule. God was sad that He had made people, because people's hearts were so sinful. God had to judge the people for their sin. But one man was not like all the other people. Noah was a righteous man. He wanted to follow God. So God decided to save Noah and his family from this punishment. One day, God told Noah to build a big boat called an ark. God told Noah what would happen. God was going to punish sin by sending a flood to wipe out everything on the earth. God made a special promise, a covenant with Noah. God promised to keep Noah and his family safe. God told Noah exactly how to make the ark. He told Noah how to build the roof, where to put the door, how to make it float. God gave Noah instructions about animals to bring on the ark and how many. Noah did everything that God commanded. Phew. Noah worked for many years to build the ark. When it was finally finished, Noah filled the ark with food for his family and for the animals. Then Noah, his family, and the animals went into the ark and God closed the door. Water began to cover the earth. Rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights until water covered even the highest mountains. Every living creature on the earth died but Noah and his family were safe inside the floating ark. Then the rain stopped. Water covered the whole earth for months. Then finally, God sent a wind to dry out the earth, and the water started to go down. The ark came to rest on top of a mountain. Noah waited until God told him to bring his family out of the ark. Noah came out of the ark and built an altar to make an offering of thanks to the Lord. God told Noah's family, spread out and fill the earth. Take care of the world and the creatures in it. God promised Noah that he would never again send a flood over the whole earth, and he put a rainbow in the clouds as a reminder of the promise. God rescued Noah and his family from the flood. The story of Noah points to an even greater rescue, God's son. Jesus came to take the punishment for our sin. By trusting in him, we are saved from the power of sin and death.